Good morning. I'm Command Sergeant Major Andrew Lombardo, your Army Reserve Command Sergeant Major, and this is Know Your Tasks. I'm coming to you live from Fort McCoy, Wisconsin, with the 327th Military Police Battalion. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to maintain a Mark 19 grenade machine gun, how to load and unload a Mark 19 machine gun. The Army Reserve has a goal of implementing the Expert Soldier Badge, or ESB, in fiscal year 22. In an effort to operationalize This Is My Squad, I'm encouraging our squad leaders to take ownership of their squads by conducting training on Battle Assembly weekends and then entering it into the system of record through the Small Unit Leader Tool in the Army Training Network. The point of this is to get after training and to build cohesive teams. If I'm getting after it, so should you. Task 1. Maintain a Mark 19 grenade machine gun. Clear the Mark 19 machine gun. Clear the bolt, placing the safety switch to safe. Remove the case cartridge bay, if applicable. Charge the weapon. Lower both charging handles, pull both charging handles to the rear, ensuring the bolt locks to the rear. Return both charging handles to the forward position. Rotate only one charging handle up. Remove a live round or cartridge case from the bolt if present. Insert the tip of a cleaning rod through the receiver rail as close to the bolt face as possible. Place the tip of the clean rod on top of the live round or cartridge case as close to the bolt face as possible. Position one hand beneath the weapon to catch the round as it falls out. Force the live round off the bolt face and out the bottom of the gun by pushing down on the cleaning rod. Catch the live round as it falls out. Dispose of the live round as per unit standard operating procedure. Clear the feeder. Open the top cover assembly. Remove linked rounds if present. Reach beneath the feed tray with one hand. Press and hold both the primary and secondary positioning prowls. Slide the linked rounds out of the feeder and out of the feed throat. Return the linked rounds to the ammunition can. Return the bolt to the forward position. By placing the safety switch on fire, hold one charging handle to the rear. Ride the bolt forward by squeezing the trigger and easing the bolt forward. Ensure both charging handles are forward and in the up position. Place the safety switch on safe. Disassemble the Mark 19 machine gun. Remove the feed throat assembly. Squeeze the two sets of grip pins together. Pull grip pins straight out. Remove the bolt and back plate assembly. Ensuring the bolt is in the forward position, place the weapon on fire. Open the top cover. Pull the back plate pin straight out using the rim of a spent cartridge. Lift up slightly on the pack plate assembly. Pull the bolt and back plate assembly out of the receiver. Support the bolt with one hand. Maintain a control grip with the other hand. Lift the bolt up slightly, pull back on bolt, and remove the bolt. Remove the primary drive lever and vertical cam assembly. Reach under the top of the receiver, locate the drive lever lock on the vertical cam assembly. Apply the lock rearward about a quarter inch. Press down on the primary drive lever's pivot post to release the primary drive lever and vertical cam assembly. Pull out the vertical cam to the rear and the primary drive lever from the receiver. Remove secondary drive lever. Raise the top cover. Push down on the pivot post from the outside top cover to release the secondary drive lever. Lift out the secondary drive lever from the top cover. Remove the feed slide assembly. Pivot the tray that holds the feed slide assembly out of the top cover. Move the feed slide assembly to line up the tabs with the slots in the tray. Lift upward on the feed slide assembly. Remove the top cover assembly and feed tray. Hold the top cover straight up to align the cross pin end. Pull straight out on the pins. Lift the top cover, lift the tray out of the feeder. Remove the lineman guide assembly. Depress the flat leaf spring by using a cartridge link toggle, mail end, or a small tool. Slide the lineman guide toward the feeder mouth. Pull rearward on the lineman guide. Lift the lineman guide out. Remove the round positioning block. Remove alignment guide, push in the round positioning block, slide round positioning block toward muzzle end of gun, and pull the round positioning block away from the wall of the receiver. Remove the ogive plunger. Remove alignment guide and pull out the ogive plunger. Turn the receiver on its top. Remove the charging assemblies. Rotate the charging handle up using either your fingers or a spent case. Lift up on the lock plunger to retract it. Slide the charging assembly all the way to the rear. Pull the charger assembly away from the receiver. Repeat on the other side. Remove the receiver sear assembly. Put the safety fire switch in the fire position. 
Lift up slightly on the lock pin with your fingers using a cartridge lift. Squeeze the receiver sear assembly underneath the safety. Rotate the sear housing assembly approximately 15 degrees in either direction. Press down on the sear housing assembly. Rotate the assembly until it stops at 90 degrees from its original position. Press the receiver sear and safety together. Place the safe fire switch on safe and then lift the sear assembly out. At this time, you will clean the Mark 19 machine gun. You inspect the Mark 19 machine gun, lubricate the Mark 19 machine gun, and finally, reassemble the Mark 19 machine gun by installing the charger assemblies. Rotate the charger handles to the straight up position. Line up the lugs on the charger with slots in the receiver rail. Insert the charger lugs into the slots. Hold the charger tightly against the rail. Slide the charger forward until it locks into place. Turn the receiver upright. Install the round positioning block. Insert the blocks into the slots with the tang end forward. Push against the block and slide it toward the rear until the block locks into place. Insert the ogive plunger assembly into the opening. Insert the alignment guide assembly. Position the alignment guide assembly so that the pin is lined up with a slot in the feeder wall. Hold the alignment guide assembly to the front wall. Slide the alignment guide into the receiver until it clicks. Install the feed tray and feed slide assembly. Place the tray in top of the feeder, recess side up. Line up the pinholes on the tray with the lugs on the receiver. Position the feed slide assembly so that the tabs are lined up with the slots on the tray. Insert the tabs into the slots. Drop the feed slide assembly into the tray. Move the feed slide assembly slightly to ensure engagement. Attach the top cover assembly. Ensure that the feed tray is in the proper place in the receiver. Place the top cover on the receiver with the pinholes in line with the receiver lug and feed tray pinholes. Hold the top cover straight up. Insert the top cover pins on both sides. Ensure the cross pin is fully inserted. Rotate the top cover so that it is in the fully open position. Engage the secondary drive lever by rotating the feed slide assembly and the tray upward. Engage the forked end of the secondary drive lever with the feed slide pin. Press the raised pivot post through the hole in the stop cover. Ensure that the bearing washer is correctly installed. Press the secondary drive lever against the top cover until it locks in place. Install the vertical cam assembly. Slide the vertical cam assembly through the rear of the receiver. Engage the forked end in the notch. Engage the primary lever. Hold the vertical cam assembly in place. Slide the primary drive lever into the receiver. Slide the primary drive lever lock to the rear. Engage the pivot post lever through the holes in the receiver and vertical cam. Slide the drive lever lock forward. Install the bolt and backplate assembly without the sear on the weapon. Ensure the cocking lever is cocked forward. Insert bolt and backplate assembly into receiver. Insert backplate pin to lock assembly into place. Close the cover. Install the receiver sear assembly. Turn the receiver over on its top. Place the sear housing on the receiver. Line up the sear housing assembly at the right angle to the barrel center line. Put the safe fire switch on the fire position. Press down the housing assembly. Rotate the housing assembly until it stops. Press up on the sear. Rotate the sear until it locks into place. Attach the feed throat assembly. Squeeze the plunger. Align pins with the holes in the receiver. Release the plunger to retract the feed throat. Perform a functions check. Check the function with the safety on safe and then on fire. Put the safety in the safe position with top cover closed. Pull bolt to rear. Push charger handles back to the forward position. Rotate charger handles up. Press the trigger. The bolt should not go forward. Put safety in fire position. Press the trigger. Bolt should spring forward. Put safety back into the safe position. Leave bolt in the forward position and continue. Check the feed slide assembly and feeder, moving the secondary drive lever back and forth, pressing the prowls to check the spring action, and inspect the link guide for roughness and galling. Close the top cover. Task 2. Load a Mark 19 grenade machine gun. Always clear the Mark 19 machine gun. By placing the safety switch on safe, remove the cast catch bag of apple, 
Charge a weapon, grasp both charging handles, press the charge handle locks and rotate the charge handles down. Pull both charging handles to the rear, ensuring the bolt locks to the rear. Return both charging handles to the forward position, rotating only one charging handle up. Remove live round cartridge case from the bolt if present. Insert the tip of the clean rod section through the receiver rail as close to the bolt face as possible. Place the tip of the clean rod section on top of the live round or cartridge case as close to the bolt face as possible. Position one hand beneath the machine gun to catch the round as it falls out. Pull up on the cleaning rod and force live round off the bolt face and out the bottom of the machine gun, capturing the live round as it falls out. Dispose of the live round as per unit standard operating procedures. Clear the feeder if present by opening the top cover, removing linked rounds if present, reach beneath the feed tray with one hand, press and hold both the primary and secondary positioning prowls, slide the linked rounds out the feeder, return the linked rounds to the ammunition can, return the bolt to the forward position, place the city switch to fire. Grasp the charging handles that is in the down position and pull and hold the charging handle to the rear. Press the trigger and ease the bolt forward. Ensure both charging handles are up forward in the up position. Place the safety switch on safe. Attach the feed throat to the feeder. Squeeze the spring load pins on the feeder throat. Insert the feed throat into the slots on both sides of the feeder. Insert a round. Insert the round through the feed throat, female link first, into the feeder. Push the round across the first set of feed prowls. Ensure the round is straight and firmly seated against the bolt. Push the secondary drive lever to the right. This moves the feed slide to the left. Close the top cover. Load the first round. By charging the handle, grasp the charging handles, press the charging handle locks and rotate the charging handles down. Pull both charging handles to the rear, ensuring that the bolt locks to the rear. Return both charging handles to the forward position. Rotate both charging handles up to the locked position. Place the safety switch on fire. Press the trigger, allowing the bolt to slam forward. Rotate both charging handles down. Pull both charging handles to the rear. Place the safety switch on safe. Return both charging handles to the forward and up position. Your weapon is now fully loaded and ready to fire. Task 3. Unload a Mark 19 grenade machine gun. Always clear the bolt. Place the safety switch on safe, remove the cast catch bag if applicable, charge the weapon, grasping both charging handles, press the charging handle locks and rotate the charging handles down, pull both charging handles to the rear ensuring the bolt locks to the rear, return both charger handles to the forward position, rotate only one charging handle up, remove line round or cartridge case from the bolt if present by inserting the tip of a cleaning rod section through the receiver rail as close to the bolt face as possible. Place the tip of the clean rod section on top of the live round or cartridge case as close to the bolt face as possible. Position one hand beneath the machine gun to catch the round as it falls out. Pull up on the clean rod and force the live round off the bolt face and out the bottom of the machine gun. Catch the live round as it falls out and dispose of the live round as per standing operating procedures. Clear the feeder. Open the top cover. Remove the linked rounds if present. Reach beneath the feed tray with one hand. Press and hold both the primary and secondary positioning brawls. Slide the linked rounds out of the feeder. Return the linked rounds to the ammunition can. Return the bolt to the forward position. Place the safety switch on fire. Grasp the charging handle that is in the down position. Pull and hold the charging handles to the rear. Press the trigger and ease the bolt forward. Ensure both the charging handles are forward in the up position. Place the safety switch on safe and close the top cover. The weapon is now clear. All leaders should be deeply involved in ensuring your soldiers conduct regular in-depth training in accordance with current training and evaluation outlines. Individual warrior tasks are perishable skills, and we all need to work together to ensure our soldiers receive the proper training they require. Training together is also how we build cohesive and inclusive teams. NCOs, embrace your field craft. This is Double Eagle 7. Ready now, shaping tomorrow.